And some mm -hmm. critics say, well, they're using this to pressure them to maybe toll roads or to get more money. But ODOT saying, no, we may not be able to uh, keep wow. roads clear because of budget cuts. So yeah. we'll see what happens. We'll continue to follow this. Hopefully those predictions for a warm, a dry, wet, dry winter. winter. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully that comes true so we, we won't need them. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it, we could always just have one of those uh, <laughs> crazy storms sneak up on us. Yes. Uh, out of the blue, but hopefully that's not the case and nothing's sneaking up on us this week as we take a time-lapse view out over the Ridgefield area. Thanks to our Ayla Nay camera for giving us this view of the dark storm clouds rolling their way through southwest Washington and seeing just about the same as we now take a live look out over downtown Portland. Again, looking to the north, seeing those dark storm clouds as they continue to drop some significantly heavy rains at times through our area. But boy, is it cool out there. 48 degrees is where we currently sit out at PDX and continuing to fall back into the 40s as we work our way through the rest of this evening. But despite the dark storm clouds that you might be seeing in your area, we will eventually see a lot of those clouds pull their way out of the Pacific Northwest. All thanks to the center of low pressure. It's right over the Portland area right now, but helping for that nice onshore flow. The green, that's all of the rain, but we've also been picking up on a few lightning strikes for parts of Clark County and just the same for much of Lynn County and out along the coast over the past several hours, but snow continues to fall over the high terrain. We're keeping a close eye on those rain gauge numbers, filling up to about three one hundredths of an inch for Portland, more than a half inch found out along the coast, and these numbers still have the potential to fluctuate ever so slightly. But the winter wonderland sites have once again returned to Oregon's high country. 28 degrees right now out towards the Mount Hood Meadows area as the snow continues to actively fall. But we're talking about our very own cool down exclusively outside of the Cascades. That's where the National Weather Service has issued a hard freeze warning in effect just to the north of Mount Hood itself. That's where we could see temperatures slide back into the 20s tonight. A freeze warning in effect for the Dows for Pendleton falling back as low as the upper 20s in many cases and a frost advisory in effect for the west southwestern corner of Washington State. And Portland itself will get in on the potential for some frost by the time we get Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and even into Monday, likely going to be picking up on those frostier than normal conditions as we work our way through the end of the month of October. But seeing that snow elevation level dip down on Thursday and Friday, but the difference this go around is drier conditions are going to start to return to the area. So if anything, it's just going to be dropping our temperatures as additional snow accumulation for Mount Hood itself will be picking up anywhere from three to eight inches, but the pass is about one to four inches. Slick roadways are a very real possibility. So we now take a live look out towards the Vancouver area. Thanks to our Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera. This is where we have been seeing a little bit of that lightning action on our radar as the thunderstorm potential still remains for the rest of this evening. But this storm, it is on the move, clearing skies as we work our way through the rest of this evening. Clear conditions tonight will also allow for those temperatures to slide back into the low 40s in many cases. But I think we'll be able to squeeze out just a little bit of that sunshine as we move our way into tomorrow afternoon. Additional raindrops filling up our rain gauge, maybe nearing about a tenth of an inch for Portland, just the same for Salem, and very little accumulation found out along the coast. But tonight, falling back to about 43 degrees. Tomorrow, only getting up into the low 50s. We should be hovering in the low 60s to the upper 50s for this time of year as those skies slowly start to dry. Seven-day forecast, you can see that those dry skies really take a hold Saturday into Sunday as we get back up into the mid-50s. And for Halloween itself, 58 degrees, that is the average daytime high for the final day in October. And it looks like the trick-or-treaters are not going to have to uh, replan their Halloween outfits around maybe a rain jacket or an umbrella because it will be on the dry side. Yeah, mm -hmm. just be warm, dress warm. Mm -hmm. Dress warm, layers underneath yes. the costume. No right. garbage bag like we did <laughs> back in my day. Back in the day. Back in the All day. All you needed was a garbage bag. <laughs> hey, happening today right here